Hello everyone. Today's adventure takes us to the Ticket and Transportation Center over at the Magic Kingdom parking lot. Today's video is gonna be part one of two for all the free transportation that you can actually take at Walt Disney World. So we're gonna start at the Ticket and Transportation Center or TTC, which a lot of cast members and guests call it. And we're gonna take the ferry boat over to Magic Kingdom. And then we're gonna take the monorails, the boats, the buses, and then the Skyliner. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it yet, but I'm gonna try and use each form of transportation to get to the next place. We'll see how it goes. So enjoy part one. All right, next up we have the monorail system. Now the monorail system goes to the resort hotels near Magic Kingdom. There's an express monorail, which you can see green right there, that goes directly from ticket and transportation system over to Magic Kingdom, and then the Epcot monorail, which unfortunately is closed right now because there is no park hopping. But normally you just get on here, get off right outside the entrance to Epcot, and then it comes right back again. All right. Next up, we have Magic Kingdom Ferry Boat. Starts right here at Ticket and Transportation Center. Takes you directly over to Magic Kingdom. And it also comes back as well. So we're going to take the ferry boat over to Magic Kingdom right now. All right, looks like there's a boat coming in right now. Time to head over to the Magic Kingdom Ferry Boat. Over to Magic Kingdom right now. Not sure if we're only gonna be taking it over, taking the monorail back. Maybe way later tonight, we'll take the Magic Kingdom ferry boat back to Ticket and Transportation Center. Not totally sure. This video might be shot completely out of order. <laughs> All right, time to leave Ticket and Transportation Center behind and head to Magic Kingdom. I do love the views on the ferry boat. You can see the Polynesian, all the bungalows on the water. The super expensive bungalows on the water that I will never stay at because it probably costs as much as a used car to stay there just one night. I know the monorail has air conditioning when you ride it and it only takes a few minutes to get over to Magic Kingdom from the Tickets and Transportation Center, but the views from the ferry boat and then the wind is so much better because the air conditioning, to be honest, on the monorail is weak. The doors are constantly opening and closing, letting hot air in. The air conditioning units in the monorail are insanely Aww. old. It's just nicer to have a nice breeze and a great, great view. And when you come here in the afternoon, there's hardly anybody on the ferry boat. Like right now, it's myself and yeah, two families up here, that's it. Oh, here comes the other ferry boat right now. Oh, and you can see the monorail. See, that's the kind of thing I want when I come to Magic Kingdom, I don't care about getting there immediately after I park my car. These views are amazing. <laughs> Just like that, we're at Magic Kingdom. 
All right, now from the entrance of Magic Kingdom, head over to the resort monorail. So since the Polynesian is closed, they do not stop at the Polynesian anymore for the resort monorail. So when the resort monorail is running at full capacity, they stop at Magic Kingdom, Contemporary, Ticket and Transportation Center, the Polynesian, the Grand Floridian, and then right back here to Magic Kingdom. All right, we are on board the resort monorail. I'm gonna make a loop, come right back here. came around this way both the pool and that water area was closed walkway from Magic Kingdom over to the Grand Floridian is almost done. The bridge was up, uh, the walkway is completely done. I think it's just this part over here that's just not done yet. There's like a small area they're still working on. We're back. Here's the express monorail. We'll be going on that one later. It's now time to head down to the little boats and go over to Disney's Wilderness Lodge. And as a reminder, these are all free forms of transportation monorail, both express and resort, as well as the Epcot one when it's open, ferry boats, and the boats that go to, well, if it was open, Polynesian, Grand Floridian, and over to Disney's Wilderness Lodge.
here we are at So after my late lunch, early dinner, coming back out here to wait for the boat to head back to Magic Kingdom, and there's not a soul in sight. This is really cool and only slightly creepy. I do like that you can't see the Contemporary or Magic Kingdom from this area, so it really does feel like you're somewhere else even though you're extremely close to Magic Kingdom.